So hello guys, yeah, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get your NAR type from strict to open in Black Ops 2. This will only work for the PC I'm afraid, but uh, this will most likely work for your PC. If it does not work, well don't rage about it in the comments, I'm just trying to help here. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Hello guys, so yeah, uh, let's get started. What the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the start field here and type in CMD, press enter, and you will open up a commando window. Uh, in here, you're gonna type in IP config. There we go, and you're gonna uh, you can have this uh, window open because we're gonna use it later. But the first thing you're gonna go do is find your default gateway. You're gonna take those numbers, remember them, it's not that hard. Go to your web browser, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, Go to 192.168.1.1 And uh, here you're gonna need to log into your router uh, The default login credential is administrator uh, And then nothing, so you could try that, it could also be admin, just admin but. Uh, if you have a password on it, you might need to ask the one in charge of the router or call the support for your router and try to get them to uh, yeah, give you your password again. Or you could actually reset your router and this will actually put the username to administrator and the password to nothing should do. Uh, so now we're going to log in. Let's see if I remember this. I think I wrote wrong actually, but we're gonna see. No, perfect. Uh, when you get in here, you every router looks uh, really the same. But as you can see, I have the firewall disabled. This is something you could do. Now I don't really care about the firewall. I have my Windows firewall disabled as well. But what you're gonna find is the UPnP, uh, and it's gonna be enabled. So you're gonna find the way where you can enable it. As you can see, I have it ticked here. I have pressed apply and UPnP is enabled. Okay, good, good. Next thing, you're gonna open up uh, just a folder so you can get this bar right here. Uh, you're gonna find network, otherwise, you can go to the control panel and find network there, but this is just a faster way. And you're gonna find network infrastructure structure, and you're gonna find the name of the Thompson TG. I also have a media device on it, and apparently, uh, I have some. The uh, drivers that aren't installed, but it doesn't matter. Right click on this Thompson TG784 or the name of your router, of course. Click properties and then you're gonna click on settings. And here we're gonna make a new program. Um, so I get this window in right here. I'm gonna press add and let's say description of service. I'm gonna type in black. Ops 2. I also gonna type in UDP because we're gonna change this to UDP and it might just be as well good if you know what it is set to. And you gotta type in your IP version 4. Uh, yeah, you're gonna type in your IP v4 address and which is for me 192.168.1.68. So we're gonna type that in 168.1.68. Make sure it is correct, it is correct. Now we're gonna type in the port which is 37, 3074 for both external and internal. And this is the port that Black Ops decides if your NAT type is strict or open. And this is also what decides if you can join a party or if the other players can join your party. Because me and my friends, no one of us had a uh, NAT type to open and no one could join our lobby. No one can join the other guy's lobby. So yeah, we have to fix that. And this f f fix worked for all my friends and I've also seen other guys that have this have worked for. Uh, yeah. So now you can close this down, you can close everything down really and get started in playing Black Ops 2. We're gonna go in and see if the port is, if the NAT type is open. And there you go, as you can see my NAT type is now open. Uh, yeah, that's really all you gotta do. Yeah, uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching this story guys, I hope it helps. It, also, you might need to consider using a static IP, 
uh, you could Google that. I think I have a tutorial also somewhere. I'm uh, gonna link that in the description if I have. But yeah, if this doesn't work for you, then I'm sorry. I can't do anything else for you really. But also, you could try turning off your Windows firewall. Also, if you have a firewall in your antivirus, you need to turn that off or make an exclusion for those ports plus the program itself. So yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial guys and see ya.